25th annual Garden Brunch. We try and every year make this brunch be about something special and less self-referential for all of us. And we really believe that there's one thing that unites this town, this community, and that's support for our military veterans and the, the brave men and women who fight for this country. So today, we have very special programs we're getting behind. We partnered with the Wells Fargo Military and Veterans Program and the Military Warrior Support Foundation. I want to recognize somebody important in the audience. And I, oh, here he is. Uh, Commander Albert Alvarez, Jr. <laughs> Commander Alvarez is a Purple Heart and Silver Star recipient and so much more. He's actually the first US pilot that was shot down in North Vietnam. And he spent eight years in a North Vietnamese um, prisoner camp. And we are so glad that he is here with us today. Thank you, Commander, for your service. And thank you for being here and joining us to recognize these important veterans programs. It means so much to us. There's a lot of great journalists in the audience here, but I don't think anybody's been committed to covering the front lines like Bob has. And he put his life on the line. And he was injured back in 2006 in Iraq, but he's not allowed that to stop him. It's kind of the fallout of that. He and his wife, um, after he got back and got back into health, started a foundation that's very much focused on veterans. So really driving to creating positive, healthy futures for our, our veterans. He has been there with them. He recognizes the sacrifice that our folks make and the impact. So now it's my great pleasure to introduce Bob Woodruff who came all the way from China today, where he's been covering stories, to be with us today. Thank you, Bob. Well, I want to thank you for what you're doing, and I really want to thank uh, Wells Fargo for what you're doing as well. You know, everybody, everybody talks about something, but I've seen, I've seen actual proof. I remember uh, several years ago, I went down to North Carolina, where a good friend of mine, Dale Beatty, was helping to build a home for one of those wounded veterans. And right out there was not only the money from Wells Fargo, but they were actually out there with their hands and their feet to try to build this house themselves. So I have so much respect uh, for Wells Fargo for doing this event as well. You know, Wells Fargo has been working with the military uh, Warrior Support Foundation's Homes for Wounded Heroes program to, to provide 100% of the mortgage. They're mortgage-free homes that go out to these veterans. They're the combat wounded veterans and also the, the Gold Star families as well. Now, once a, uh, once a veteran enters this program, they're, they're awarded a home and the family moves in, beginning a three-year family and financial mentoring program to help, help them with this transition to life outside of the military into our civilian world, and also to ensure that they have the tools and the skills they need to maintain this house uh, over a long period of time. Then after successfully completing the, the mentoring program, the foundation officially transfers the deed uh, to the veteran. And then to date, Wells Fargo has donated over 350 homes and has spent uh, a value of $55 million to build these homes for the veterans and the Gold Star families. They've actually done this in all 50 states of our country. So it's not just giving away homes, but it's also about providing quality and very long-term assistance for our veterans for many years to come. So joining me here today as well is a great man that I just met. He's, the, uh, he's Virginia's Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax, who also went to an amazing college known Duke, which I really like. I'm uh, so honored to be here with you today, Bob. Thank you for that warm and generous introduction and for all of your great leadership uh, on such an important issue. Uh, I have the distinct honor uh, today as Lieutenant Governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia to recognize this extraordinary veteran and his wonderful family. Uh, they are from Hampton, Virginia. So I want to give them a round of applause uh, to start. They represent our Commonwealth and our country so well. And Dominic, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, Staff Sergeant Dominic Parati joined the Army in 2005 as a heavy equipment mechanic. He served a total of three tours in Afghanistan and Iraq, where he helped recover the remains of fellow service members on the battlefield. Uh, this is his lovely wife, Kayla, by the way. I'm gonna give Kayla a round of applause because we know that families serve together. Kayla, thank you for your sacrifice. 
In 2012, Dominic was wounded when his vehicle was struck by a roadside bomb. It was so dangerous that he and his team had to stay on the battlefield for 30 hours before they could evacuate. After he retired from the Army, Dominic was ready to begin a new chapter in his life. He applied for the Military Warrior Support Foundation's Homes for Wounded Heroes program. Dominic, Kayla, and their beautiful son, Dominic the Fourth. Uh, began their journey with the Military Warriors Support Foundation three years ago. Their mentor helped them make budgets, manage their finances, and get ready to become homeowners, and also helped them through the many challenges of transitioning to life outside of the military. Dominic even got his boat captain's license uh, and started a business offering deep sea fishing charters. Earlier this year, the Parades graduated from the Foundation's mentorship program and earn the deed to their home, mortgage free. And I think that deserves a round of applause. Congratulations to y'all. And now on behalf of the Military Warriors Support Foundation and Wells Fargo, uh, I would like Staff Sergeant Parati to please open the door. We have a surprise for you. So Dominic, open that door. So Jerry Quinn is going to, uh, from the uh, Well Fargo's Military Affairs Program Manager, is going to present to Dominic with the official deed. And then Andrea Dellinger right here with the Military Warriors Support Foundation is presenting this flag to fly right in front of that home when you get down there, Dominic. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Uh, Kayla and I would like to thank you and uh, everybody here today for the support you show for veterans, for myself, and uh, sharing with the world the good work that Wells Fargo and uh, Military Warrior Support Foundation has done for families like ours. Staff Sergeant Parati, I want to congratulate you and Kayla on participating and finishing the financial mentoring program through the Wounded Warriors Initiative. My understanding is you're going to be awarded a great new home in Hampton, Virginia from Wells Fargo. So congratulations on your great work. I also understand you're a great commercial fisherman and I hope I get a chance to go out fishing with you at some point. Thank you again for your service to our country. So our Homes for Wounded Heroes program is our pioneer program where we award mortgage-free homes to combat wounded heroes and Gold Star spouses. And they go through a three-year journey with us through a family and financial mentorship program where we help them really identify debt and home ownership. And Dominic and Kayla have been with us just over three years and are receiving the deed. And it's exciting to watch all the debt they've paid off in along with the fact that he's taken on the role of entrepreneur through the time with the program. And I really do feel like we were able to help give him those tools to put in his toolbox to find that next step in his future. We want to see our veterans that are coming home transition successfully and be those important contributors to the com communities that we know that they can be. You know, veterans serve in their communities, volunteer more frequently than the general public. It's because of that service, that commitment to service that made them join the military in the first place. So we're just honored to serve them as they come back and transition. And our military men and women in uniform, standing guard every night for us, the ones deployed away from home, separated from their families, we need to take care of them too. And we need to ensure that they have the access to ensure that their finances and their family are stable back here at home so that they can pay attention to the most important mission they have at that time. It's life-changing for me, my family, to Military Warrior Support Foundation and Wells Fargo. Um, thank you. More than I can say thank you. You've changed our lives. <laughs>